Sasha. Oh! on marijuana in the Washington office of the Narcotics Division scarcely filled a small folder like this. Today, they fill cabinets. Hurry, hurry. Hey, here he comes. Hey, just, hey, just make sure you get that bag out of the trash. Get out of there. Hey, listen. Hey, I can't talk too long. Hey, hey, the guards come back. Hey, just get, hey, just get that bag. Shut up! I gotta go back. <laughs> Doubt many of you do not believe that these things do happen, but they cannot happen to you. Patty <laughs> girl, Mama, make them cut it out. Patty girl, Mama, you government men, cut it out. Oh, I wish you'd lay off those kids, you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hey, what's the matter, an orphan? Where do you put it? You got a hollow leg? Come on! Uh, come on! Uh, you government men have got to find some way to put an end to it. We gotta keep him gagged. He was a fine, upstanding American boy. A good scholar, a good athlete, and representative of the caliber of young men we are proud to graduate from our school. But do you realize that marijuana is not like other forms of dope? You see, it grows wild in almost every state in the Union. Therefore, there is practically no interstate commerce in the drug. As a result, the government's hands are tied. And frankly, the only sure cure is a widespread campaign in education. Yes, I recall distinctly a few weeks ago. It was during a class of English literature. There was a serious discussion of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet when he suddenly burst into an uncontrollable fit of hysterical laughter. Let's go, Jack. I'm red hot. 